Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of uh another crab's treasure. Um it's it's been a few days. I've been busy doing yard work and getting garden stuff ready and chilling with animals and working and all, all sorts of things. But I wanted to get back in this game. Uh last time we took on the freaking Duchess she, For those of you who watched that video. She was a major pain in the butt. And that is the biggest understatement of my freaking life. Her certain move where she uses her T chain and grabs you in it and then slams you. There were so many times where she would just spam that. And I absolutely hated it. She was a complete and utter pain in the butt. But she's done for. Like I said, if I could have used the gun on her, I would have. Because I was so frustrated with her. And that stupid... That, if she didn't have that move, I would have beaten her so much easier. Let's talk to this bum. It's over. It's all over. Okay, what's all over, dude? Why ain't it... Why ain't it ever me, you know? What? Whoa, what's going on here? I'll tell you what's going on. I'm getting my carapace cracked by cruel, unfeeling forces beyond my control yet again. That's what's going on. Okay, fur. I just spent my whole savings on rare trash you can only get in the shallows. So I could sell it at, at a profit in New Carcinia, of course. And then use that profit to trade up my shell. Get myself something nice, you know? Yeah, I'm rocking a party hat. But the party hat's kind of OP. And now I come back here and the bridge to the city is completely collapsed. Sounds like a personal problem. There's no way I can make it back without leaving all this trash behind. It's all over, man. I'm fully shot. I'm fully shut. I'll be shellless within the tide. I guess I better find another way around if I want to get to the city. Thanks for the sympathy, pal. What do you want me to do? Pick you up and carry me on carry you on my back? Forget you, you turd. I can just send you to another dimension. Then you don't go and worry about your trash. And I'll steal your golden pineapple. Ugh, I want a golden pineapple. Pineapples are freaking delicious. Ooh! Almost missed that little yoinker right there. We got 6,000 things. Microplastics. What the... What kind of a yummy yummy we have here? Stainless relic. A workable piece of metal. Maybe someone can turn it into something useful. I hope so. Hey, another portal. Reef's Edge. Oh, yeah. Can I just live here? Wouldn't that be awesome, is to just have, like, a massive aquarium and have a room built in the center of it, and you can just be in there and just be completely surrounded by freaking coral and fish. That'd be awesome. Let's go in here. Yankee doodle doodly doodly doo doo doo. Oh man, 10,370 for the next level. <laughs> Poop. We could go to the moon snail and get some other skill. But I don't feel like doing that right now. Let's continue on our, on our quest. Did I already get this? What the? I got a sauce butt. It's a sauce butt. It's a sauce butt after all. It's a soft butt after all. It's a sauce. Sauce butt. Twist top. So it just spins? I feel, I feel like that's going to make me fall off a ton. Yeah. 
No, bro! Have fun! <laughs> Look at him down there. <laughs> what a bump. Hey! Aha! I send you to the depths! Apparently this is bouncy, because I saw him bounce on that. Oh! What the? What did he shoot at me? Was it one of those, like, underwater expanding things? You know those weird little toys that you, like... Or sometimes they're in, like, little, almost, like, pill-looking things? Or the washcloths, and you put them in water, and then they grow and expand. That's why it looked like it shot at me, because it looked like a little sponge animal. <laughs> I stab you! Hello, party hat meister! Whoa, that was cool. Die already, you bum. Holy crap, that guy was annoying. Guys, look at this place. Flip flops galore. Buy one, get an extra one for free. They're not matching, and they're not the same color, but who cares? It's a garbage. Huh. I'm going to jump down here. Oh, I always forget about the... The two-step. You dead, boy! What? I literally was pushing my special and it wasn't firing it. What was that garbage? Uh, I don't want to wear this shell, but I'm going to have to so that I have some protection. Forget you guys. Are you kidding me? That guy... Bazoinked me! Just... <laughs> yeah, they're like those sponge animals. to this. Soda can's better. We're <laughs> running away, you butt face! We got one little bit of health left. Oh man, party hat fell. Looks like I'm sticking with the soda can.
What is this guy's problem? Just die already. A shock glass. What? Why are these guys so OP? That is so not fair. You can hit me, but I can't hit you. Forget that, bum. What are these crabs? Did I just get killed by a toothpick? I think I just got killed by a toothpick. Okay, I need to not continue fighting these guys. I just need rush and get my stuff. I actually should get that uh, one skill from the moon snail that lets you do the finishing when you flip them over like that. Because I don't think I've unlocked that yet. Oh, trying to be tricky, butt face. Yes, please. Is that to replace that? What? Am I going the right way? What? What is that, dude? Do I? Do I need to go this way? That move is actually pretty good. Come on, guys. Okay, this might be like OP. And then there was one! <laughs> Okay, I was bashing on this shell to begin with. But it's pretty good. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. What is this? Oh, that's the thing I just grappled on, dude. I think I need to go back this way. Onto the sponge we go. What? Doing. 
Don't follow me, poop stain. What's this? Oh, look how adorable he is. Look at his little legs swinging. Don't mind me, just watching the fishies. Okay, enough of that. Oh, great. How do I use... How do I use my special move? I don't remember. Okay, this guy is freaking stupid strong. Oh, crap. What is that dude's problem? I'm all out of here. I, I can't. I can't fight that guy. Not with this freaking. Shell. Let's get this. Shorty cut. Then I don't have to deal with all that crap again. Forget that, dude. Oh, my gosh. What are these crabs, man? Oh my gosh. Why did my guy double bounce? No! This is rigged! It doesn't want me to reach the city! Okay. Let it poopies! Shortcut! Later, Farfignugan! Okay, that was... So much nicer! Jump over that butt face. Oh my gosh! Thing moved right when I was about to land on it! What? What is over there? What is this cube? Can I not destroy it? Move your fat butt. What are these seahorses and their guns? How come I can't reach that? This is freaking stupid.
Are you freaking kidding me? I'm never making it to that freaking city. Okay, stop, please. Well, that's... Forget him! He's literally gonna knock me off into no man's land. I don't have time to deal with this crap. What is this? Hey there, pal. Do you like going fast? Why does he look like Turbo? The snail off of the movie where he's like... A, a racer? Uh, no, no, I hate it. Well, it's your unlucky day. Because you're going to need some wicked speed to get over that ramp down there. Walking ain't going to cut it. Neither is sprinting even. No, sir. Okay. And that's where I come in. Pablo, five-time snail racing league champ, at your service. They had to give us snails our own league, because we're so dang fast. Okay. I'm going to tell you how to get speed so insane, your grandma's antenna will be twisted in her grave, twisting in her grave. Or maybe she's still alive. Sorry, that was a little insensitive either way. But trust me, this, this kind of crazy sh movement will peel your gills back. It'll dry your exoskeleton while you're still underwater. It'll boil you in your dang shell if you're not careful. And worst of all, it'll turn you into a permanent speed demon who can't even form words if they're not moving at high velocity. Are you ready to accept that kind of a risk? Because a lot of people say they are, and before you know it, BAM! They're addicted to speed. It's seen it happen to a lot of good critters down here. So, I gotta ask one more time. You sure? Yeah, why not? Okay, so basically, you're just gonna want to sprint towards the ramp and then press the block button. So sprint and block. Sprint and block. Eat it. Yeah! Don't ever have to go through that shiz again! Because we got a save point! Yeah, yeah, on our way to the big city! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Eat my butt, you smelly crabs! Make sure we go in. Save. Save. Always good. We still don't have enough microplastics to go up another level, so we're just gonna have to wait on that. Boop, 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 boop. Sloopy doop, up, doop, 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 doop,
How'd you guys like that? That was just for you. Hope you know that. Oh, Mr. Roly Poly. How do I go fast? Oh, how did I go fast? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just popped out of nowhere. We're at the city. Hey, you bum. You're asleep. What kind of a guard are you? Crappy one. Here. Just. <sighs> That's for sleeping on the job. How did I go fast? That's what I don't know. We made it! The big old city! Hello, crazy crabs. Am I supposed to be talking to everyone? E? Hello there! Um, hello, ma'am. Have you come from Slack Tide? This bridge is usually reserved for traders, soldiers, and nobles. And you don't look like any of those, dear. Unless. Perhaps you're one of those neo-nobles that chooses not to flaunt your wealth. How exciting. What the Duchess's court... What's the Duchess's court like? Is she as gorgeous as they all say? She's ugly and she's dead. I killed her. Yeah, yeah, she was. I mean, she's pretty. You're not so bad yourself, little noble. Care to come up to my apartment? Run away! She's crazy! If a woman comes up to you... And automatically wants you to come to her apartment. You should be scared. <laughs> Have a nice day, ma'am. Yeah. You're psycho. You're a psychopath. Is that a cigar? That looks like a freaking cigar. Welcome to New Carcinia Tortellini. Oh, are you made of noodles? A beacon of civilization amongst the harsh violence of the sands between. A testament to the prevailing power of industry. The city of dreams, the big crab apple. And the defining pillar of the trash economy, which supports all of crustacean society. Uh, how did I get into this conversation? My name, you ask? Tortellini, the town greeter, at your service. I'm beyond excited to greet two new visitors in a single day. Is that is that a lot? Not at all. We usually get 20 or 30. Then why? Wait, did you say two? Was the other one a shark carrying the coolest show you've ever seen? Oh, a friend of yours? Not at all. I'm going to kick that guy's butt and get my show back. Oh, ho, a sworn enemy. The steak is more exciting by the minute. I've got to catch him before he sells my shell to who knows who. Can you tell me where he went? Not at all. I greeted him with gusto and then didn't give him a second thought. What sort of town greeter would I be if I looked behind me to keep tabs on those I've already greeted rather than facing forward to greet those yet to come? Okay, okay, okay. Where would someone trying to sell a shell go then? I can think of exactly four places. They might have tried to sell it to the shelfist desires, the luxury goods store. Okay. If it's more of an antique shell, they may have gone to check if the museum curator might purchase it. Failing those, they might have visited bottom feeders, the dive bar in the lower crust, to try and pass it off to some piece of gutter trash. Oh no, not my shell. And finally, they, they could have gone to the back alley blacksmith to sell it for scrap. Okay, thank you so much. I'll check out all those places. Cod speed, small fry. Would that I could give you more of a tour? What? But more work is never done. Whilst there remains, travelers left and greeted. Goodbye, Torlinini. Say hi to my fork. Let's go quickly check these couple places out. Hey, you buffy! 
Wait, hey there. Long time no see, fellow hustler. You're the guy from the bridge. Sure am. First the name. Don't erode it, you know? How did you get down here before I did? Yeah, you seem pretty happy. Didn't you just lose all your money? Aha, of course not, pal. Not even close. A shrewd investor never put us all his shells in one... I mean, puts all his butts in one shell, you know? And that's my goal in life. I got butts in the shells. Yeah. That's uh, gonna be someone's bumper sticker. Butts in the shells. I get butts in the shells. Specifically my butt. And specifically the fanciest, flashiest, most impressive shell I can possibly find. You feel me? Not really. I'm a shell trader, kid. That's the Hermit's Lot knife. I was looking to upgrade, swap out the old shell for a better one. If you're smart, you'll get into the business too. A whole ocean of opportunity could be passing you by, you know? I don't really care. Not really what I have going or looking forward to in my life. Like, not, not going to sell shales. Okay, I see one of the places, but let's go over here and get this other save. Oh yeah, moon snail shell found. Enter it to make sure it saves. Lobby dooby doo, shoop de poop. Heareth I goeth. To findeth my shelleth. Give it it to me. Or I shall shank you in the butt with my fork. Welcome to Shellfish Desires, the flagship brick and mortar store of Shellfish Corp. How goes it, my visibly fence? Financially troubled friend? Hey, who you call it visibly financially troubled? Just because I got a tennis ball for a butt? Is it that obvious? It is. Well, you got an apple core slice peel for a head. I suppose you've come up to the upper crust for a bit of window shopping. No shame in it, plenty of folks pause on their way through town to take a look at our luxury shells. You've got five minutes before your pause becomes a loiter, so enjoy them while they last, my friend. Who are you to tell me how long I can stay here? Have you seen my shell? Did a big shark come into town and try to sell you a shell recently? Oh, he sure did. I don't get stuff. We don't do trades here. And even if we did, I'd never take the kind of beat up junk he sold me. Not a clue where he went after that. Does anyone in the city pay any attention? No, they're all a bunch of suck of farts. What a. Buy shells? Conchigli? This looks like a. like a. one of those weird ravioli noodles. Like a stuffed ravioli. It's only 10 defense. Man, that's poo. Shuttlecock. So this is basically just one of those weird badminton little doohickeys. Whoa, four? Oh, four attack. Bartholomew, the duck, the pirate duck. Felix Cube, little bro. I could become slow bro. There's an imposter, baby shoe, trophy, Russia nesting dogs. There's ponchos. And then shell insurance. At Shellfish Survivors, you can pay microplastics to insure any shell you've won before at a moon. It's not so you can pick any insured shell to start with every time you respond. Useful. Ooh. We could always have the party hat. Or the coconut. The coconut's good because it's so freaking huge. Like, d defense. The sauce nozzle wasn't as, as bad as I, I have to eat my words on that. I thought it was going to be out of crap, but you saw me when you're versing 
multiple mobs and they're grouped up and ganging up on you, this thing is clutch as crap. I kind of just want to do the party hat. Can you do more than one? Let me know in the comments below. I assume you... He said you could choose between which one you wanted. So I'm assuming you can do more than one? And you'll just have one default or something? It's only a thousand. Yeah, I don't mind if I do. Well, get that insurance, baby. Okay, don't got time for you, you bum. This looks like that museum place. There's, there's a guy with corkscrew over there. Either. Excuse me, what is this building? Well, hello, little one. You stand before the new Carsonian Museum of Carsonized History, I say. Oh, neat. Could I go in? Apologies, but the museum is currently closed to the public while we finish and put the finishing touches on, on the new exhibition. Oh. Hey, I'm looking for a tall shark, a tall shark who stole my shell. You seen anyone, anyone like that? Hmm, I can't say I have. But if I traveled here to fence stolen goods, I'd look in the, I'd start in the lower crust down beneath us. Gotcha, thanks. Be careful down there, I say. Don't worry. Got a tennis ball butt and a fork in a dream. Nobody's gonna stop us. Can I just plop on down? Geronimo! I see tasty num nums. Oh yeah, give me all your goodies. I'm stealing all your loot off your rooftops. Come to me, Krista. Mm, delicious. What the? Why, hello. Uh, Fancy, fancy little leg. Oh, gotta climb the leg again. So I can jump off and... Get these yum-yums. Ooh, I'm gonna get all the monies from selling all these turds. Mm, bread claw, chip claws. All the claws. What are you doing, dude? This guy's like shivering back here. He's like pooping himself or something. Sorry, pal. No entry here right now. Still cleaning up this path after last trash day. I'll have it done soon. I promise. Yeah, he seems like he's had better days. Can you really clean all this up by yourself? They'll fire me if I don't. So yes. What are you going to do? Like, corkscrew the crap out of those rocks to destroy them? Well, whatever it is you're going to do, you have your work cut out for you. Okay. The leg. We take a right first. Oh, look at all these weird people. Oh, look at all these weirdos. There's vehicles in here? Oh, look at the little book tooth dude. Why aren't you wearing a shell? You look cold. Just waiting for the right one, I suppose, kid. <laughs> You're naked. What? Was this not one of the places he told me to go to? I hear hammering. 
got to be the blacksmith. Okay. Let's joint this to straight down here. Enter to, to actually double save it. Yo, blacksmith dude. Oi there, scrap. It's a fine piece of metal in your claws there. Lots of promise. Care to make it shine with me, scrap. Okay, have you seen my show first? I almost don't want to ask, but... Did a big jerk shark come here trying to sell a shell for scrap? It would have probably seemed crazy to you because the shell was super gorgeous and cool. Aye, he came by. I turned that shell to scrap as soon as I could. What? Are you serious? Sure is seafoam, sea ma'am. Night. Wait, you said a shark? Scrap that. My mistake. No sharks came by. Nate. What? What did you think I said? You almost gave me a heart attack. No need to shout, Scrap. My mirrors work just fine. Krill, you look defeated. Make it shine. Make it shine, you mean my fork? This is just some piece of junk I found in my neighborhood. Aye, and what a piece of junk it is, Scrap. Bring this old smith some relics he can break down, and I'll show you what that junk of yours can truly do. Sounds useful. Didn't I get one, though? Yes! Upgraded! What? It didn't do anything to my fork? All it did was... Add five attack. My fork don't look no different. I've been ripped off. <laughs> Give me a jewel, bedazzle it or something. Do something. Make it look pretty. Polish it up. Okay, that's a way to get up. There, that's good to know. There's a juicy num num up there. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh! You ripped me off. Pawn shop's over here. Okay, wait. No, it was this place. Hey there, youngin. Welcome to Bottom Feeders. Finest little watering hole this side of sl this side of the slurry. Why do I just automatically assume she has a southern accent? Is that bias? I don't know. Let's just keep going. Hi, um, my name's Krill. I'm new town, I guess. Thought I recognized the fresh face. Please, it's plastic to meet you, Krill. I, I can't do accents to save my life, so if you're judging me for this, Know that I don't care. Names Ni N Nema Nima. I feel like if it was Nima, it'd have two E's, not two M's. Nema Mama Mama Nema Ma. If you've got the money, why not stop on in for a bite? My kiddos and I would love to have you. I'm sure you would love to eat. Cause I'm so dang delectable. We also offer a stowaway a stowaway hiring service. Those are those weird little guys, the little trinkets that give me benefits. If you're interested in such a thing. Shell. Priorities, ma'am. Hey, um, if it's not too much of a bother, I'm looking for a shark that took my shell. Any chance you stop by here? Fairly sure I'd remember a fellow like that swimming in my establishment. Sorry, kiddo. That's okay, huh? No, no worries. What's a stowaway? You mentioned something about stowaways. What are those? Oh, I'm sure you've seen them around. That turn looked up for any sore little fella. The six stuff to your shell, little fella. Oh, like a barnacle? Exactly, and for the right price, there's all sorts of them that might tag along. People pay for that? Yeah, they're basically... What is it in biology when, like... Ah, uh, there's a certain term for it. But it's like a parasite feeds off of something else, but it's mutually beneficial to them. So that they put up with it. 
it's a mutual relationship. They both benefit. They sure do, hon. Lots of our visitors here are travelers just stopping by who could use a little company on the road. What? You ought to consider it. <sighs> if you got a journey ahead of you, the open ocean can be a mighty lonely, huh? I'll just take you with me. I'll think about it. Thanks, man. Uh, call me Nima, hun. I'm not a crabby old lady just yet. Sounds about right. What is... I don't think I want to dismiss him. Spend? Yes. Yes. Whoa. It's gotta be somewhere. I just gotta find where that shark went. The city's so big, how am I ever gonna find my shell? Oh, you're so depressed. This place is so stupid. It's like me when I go out in public. I just get drained having to be social. I do not do good having to interact with people. Like, I'm very much, like... Just... Just... I, I know it sounds terrible, but I like to be in my own little world. Like, my social battery is very small. If I go to a social event, I need, like, two weeks to recharge before I do anything and it's loud I'm about to get run over hey dude I'm in the road here why couldn't everyone just leave me alone everywhere I turn someone's trying to take something away from me or sell me some kind of scatter right up fellow citizens Pranathan it's the grand opening of the prawn shop well that dang butt monkey's got my shell Full of legitimate shallows made wares. We got plastic, we got metals, we got packing foam. We got garbage you ain't even heard of yet. What the? He's wearing that as a freaking hat. I'm gonna stab you in the butt. Give me my shell, you poop. <laughs> ah! Ah! I'm gonna take a poop on all your things. That's my shell! Are you serious? This guy's still following me? Oh! This dude! He was just operating the thing. The little shark clipper. You better tell me. I get, I get to beat the crap out of this guy. This guy has put me through the freaking ringer. Alright, play cool. This guy is garbage. I don't know what you're talking about. Seriously, give that back. It was stolen from me by a jerk shark. Well, first off, that shark seems stupid cool and chill to me. Yeah, because it's you. I'm going to rip off your little antennas that you pretend are your mustache. Second of all, he uh, sold to me fair and square. You're a lying sack of garbage. You got to buy like everything else in the store. That's how the pawn shop works, baby. Well, how much? And uh, what can I actually pay with? Depends what you got, pal. I've got a few microplastics, I guess, and some string. Look, that shell's really important to me. Could I work for it or something? I'll do anything. Anything, huh? Dude, you don't tell someone that if you're trying to get something back. Because they're going to jack up the price on you and screw you over. I had to learn this if I wanted, like, when I, when I lived in Africa, like, there was people trying to screw you over. They automatically assume, hey, you're American. Or, hey, like, y you must have money. And it's like, actually, I don't. I'm out here, living here with you guys. <laughs> and so you'd have to kind of haggle people to get them to give you a fair price. But yeah, never let people know how truly you want something before you know the initial price. Because they will tell you a price that's very different. Yeah, I guess I could probably come up with some arduous and meaningless time sinks. What's a freaking time sink? Free to partake in and earn your shell back. 
for starters, why don't you scrape the barnacles off my sweaty... I hate this guy. Wait, wait, did you hear that? Hear what? The latest conversation, kid. Trash Island is here. This always catches me off guard. I gotta get ready before I miss out on some prime plastic. Hey, I'm not done talking to you. Trash day! It's trash Earthquake! Day. Everyone, get your baskets! Don't miss out! Wow, this is so messed up. Pill bottle! Back off! I saw it push! Get your own trash, lump suckers! <laughs> I love that word. Lump suckers? <sighs> you lump sucker? Yeah, because that would totally happen. What a cardboard box thing? crashing down like I've that. I've never seen anything like it. It's a message from the captain! It's got his face right on it! It's gotta be! Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Pardon me. Excuse me, young lady. As new Custinia's official historian, I'm sure I can shed some light on... My God! If I'm not mistaken, this is part of a map! A map showing the way to a most valuable treasure, I say. If someone were to find its missing pieces and decipher them, why, they'd be rich beyond their wildest dreams, I say. Rich? I like the sound of that. That treasure's as good as mine. I'll be able to afford the flashy shell in the ocean, you know? Not if I get there first. Think of all the tourists that treasure could bring to our city. Well, don't you count out us, bottom siders. You'll be eating your hat when I get that treasure and yeah. fix up my restaurant. <laughs> It would appear the hunt is on, I say. The first stop on the map seems to be the forest to the north of here. May the best, Crab. Apologies for the interruption, folks. I seem to have misheard oh. something. There's some I corrupt could have politician. Sworn there were some citizens here planning on unearthing some valuables. Need I remind you all how threatening the ocean is outside this reef? That guy's like I a giant it would potato go bug. Without saying that the duty of such a dangerous excavation would fall to the Shellfish Corporation. That would be safest for all involved. Don't you agree? Yeah. Don't they call him like isopods or something? No problem. Rolling as Shellfish Corp CEO in this fair city's de facto mayor, I suppose no one would have any objections to my taking sole control of this treasure hunt. Are we all in agreement? Oh, oh dear. I, I suppose that sounds all right with me. I say. You hear what they're talking about? Bunch of pushovers. Sounds like some kind of crazy treasure hunt. Hey, kid, I just got an idea. If you can go get that treasure they're drawing about, I'll gladly trade your shell for it. For, for real? You'd really do that? You bet. A prawn never goes back on his promise. Aw, yeah! Mm. I'm gonna find that treasure! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go, kid. Rowan can't tell us what to do. That treasure belongs to whoever can find it first. The corporations don't control us! I suppose okay. a this little is friendly competition is only fair. I hope you know what you just dove into, <sighs> kid. See you in the open ocean, treasure hunters. <laughs> well, that guy's gonna be a complete and utter pain in the butt. Dang, that was crazy with the capital Z! You really stepped in it now, kid. That squid that hangs around Roland doesn't think twice about disappearing people. Yeah, you told me to! Yeah, I recall merely making that suggestion, pal. But the officer still stands. If you can get me that treasure, the shell's all yours. Okay, well, where do I start? Weren't you listening to that old dude? It's off in the grove, way north of here. You've got a bit of a walk ahead of you. Great. Well, I guess I have no choice now. I'm on this treasure hunt, whether I like it or not. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you find any other junk out there, I'll take it off your hands for some microplastics. Fair is fair. Oh. 
Why would I buy junk from you? Huh. This thing is so gross, dude. I'll give you a discount. Just please get this off my shelf. <laughs> yeah. That is not discounted price, you buy in second. Heart kelps, bro. What? There's no way that's just a heart kelp, right? Are you serious? I'm gonna shank this dude. I'm gonna sneak up behind him, shit my fork in his butt. Mmm! <clears throat> Scramble him up. Toss him over a freaking fire. Or some lava pocket in the ocean. Cook him. Then just, just eat him up. Barbed hooks. Okay, so that's pointless in the buy, buying the stuff. Thirty-three bread claws. Let's sell all those garbages. Chip claws. Sell all that. I thought I had more than one close claw. Huh. Hair claw. Sell all. Ew. I guess we'll hang on to the pearl for a sec. I don't know, it's, it seems kind of pointless to get rid of it for... ...that. Just start- And you're already making waves, kiddo. If it wasn't for you, we'd have all just rolled over and let Roland step all over us like usual. Yeah, because you guys are a bunch of weenies! You gotta stand up for yourself, or people are gonna rule over you like a freaking dictator. So we're all going after this treasure, then. Seems like it. If that all time we rose to the museum and pull on our clouds, hope we get that treasure's gonna have some serious pull around town, be honest. Yes. Everyone hates him because he's a butt face. He's forced himself into a position of power and he thinks he can boss everyone around. Okay, I, I don't have time to read all this. That's in the right direction. So, there's a toilet scrubber. Can I go to your freaking shop and buy more stowaways? Two resistance. <laughs> Put another double thing on there. Nice. How do I use this again, guys? I, oh man, I didn't mean to unequip it. I can't remember what button I have to push to do that. Oh my gosh, I was looking at the scrub pooper to figure out which way to go, but it's north, so it's this way. Right?
What? This don't make any sense. Well, anyways, guys, I think I'm going to leave that here. Uh, we finally made it to the freaking city. We sold some stuff. We found a freaking idiot that took our shell. I'm, I'm, I'm killing that prawn. Or, uh, uh, hopefully. Hopefully we can fight him. Maybe he's one of the end bosses or something. But, yeah, I'm, I need to kill him and get the freaking shell back. Because him charging... What was that? Nine... Hundred and ninety nine million nine hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars is just stupid. We are going to beat the crap out of that guy. So catch you guys on the next one. Have a good time. Have fun. Bye now. Man go fart that prawn. Come here, brownie boy. I'm gonna fart in your shop. Crop dust in it. Nobody's gonna want to buy your stuff now. You big turd. <laughs>